Hello, Saka Fat. Hi, guys. I'm Roma, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to make some saltfish fritters. Join me, guys, and I'll show you how I'm going to do it. First thing I have here is my saltfish. And this cut fish, I soaked it out yesterday. And what I did was boil it out just one time because I still want to keep a little bit of the salt in there. And then I crush it up in little bits. And that's what it looks like. So first thing I'm going to do is just grind all this up in my little food processor. And I use this for my seasoning. I'm just going to put everything in there. So look what the seasoning looks like, guys. So now I'm going to pour that salt fish in there. I think that's that was about a pound of cut fish. Oh, that pepper smells good. It's hot. I'm going to put that in there. So now I'm just going to put some black pepper. So I'm not putting too much, about half a teaspoon. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. Okay. About half a teaspoon. I'm going to try a little bit of this curry powder. Curry always tastes good with cut fish. Maybe half a teaspoon. Yeah, like that. So now I'm going to put some of this little parsley in here. All right. Mix it all up. And I can see that pepper in there. It's like I can feel it in my eyes. We're going to put two cups of the self-rising flour. So I'm putting two cups of this. And I have one cup of water, so I'm going to add as I need it. So I'm adding a little bit more water, guys. So just, as I said, you're just gonna, I'm just gonna add it as I need to. Okay. And the nice thing which I kind of found out with this is that don't make it too runny because you want it to be able to just drop and not spread out too much. Okay, so I think I think that's good, see? That's the consistency. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is just leave this. I'm gonna cover it up and leave it for about 15 minutes just so everything can just kind of come together really well. So now guys, my pan is heating up and I'm gonna put the oil. Last time I made this, I used safflower oil and I thought it would be okay, but it did burn, like I said. So I've been using corn oil um, lately and it works really well. So I'll turn it up. So I'm gonna drop a little bit here to see if my oil is ready. And this has been sitting here for 15 minutes. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's fine, see? Okay. I'm gonna use this spoon. I turn it down to a medium heat, okay? I don't want it too high. And like I said, I'm just going to drop them like that. So I'm going to turn the heat down because the oil is kind of hot and I really want them to cook really well inside. If you put it too high and the heat, it's too hot, then what happens is that it's gonna cook outside and your inside is gonna be raw. So these are really good appetizers. Or you can just make them, you know, like today, it's one of those lazy days. Yeah. Or you can just snack on them. They're great snacks. They're nice and fluffy. So it's gonna be, when you bite into it, it's nice and airy. It's gonna taste so good. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Okay, guys. So this is my finished fritters. Look how beautiful and golden they are. 
I'm going to try one, guys, so you can see it. Look at that. Can you hear that? Mm, look how fluffy and delicious that looks. You can see my hint of curry in there. And I'm just going to bite into it. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. That is so good. Not too hot. But it's full of flavor. Look at that. It's puffed up almost like a fried dumpling. Mmm. Okay, try fish. That's absolutely delicious. Until next time, you take care and we'll see you here at Sakafet Food.